Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. I just wanted to pop on with a quick video because my team's been making some great new progress with the floor planner and the 3D rendering software. And a lot of that is based on your designer feedback. So I wanted to put together a quick video to show you some of the, adjust, uh, the adjustments that we've made to this software uh, that you guys have been requesting over the last couple of weeks. So quick thing, uh, when I click on my actual floor plan, you're going to see that the measurements are showing from the inner walls. So that's going to ensure that every single time you create your floor plan, everything is exactly to scale. We've also adjusted the thickness of the walls to the standard four and a half uh, inches. And if I click on any of these items now within my floor plan, you're going to see new measurements that are radiating out from that item. So that'll show you the distance of this item from uh, where it's placed to the wall over here. And that'll ensure that every single time you're placing items, you're going to know exactly where it is within this space. Uh, if you need to be able to adjust or determine what the measurement is between items in the space, you've got a measuring tape up here. Click on that. Click anywhere on the edge of this sofa here, drag it over, click to the edge of the uh, chair over here, and that's going to tell you the distance between these two items. If you want to get out of the measurement mode, just click the X here and make sure you click the X up here to exit that mode, and that'll bring you back to your standard floor plan mode. You're also going to notice that the product images within your floor plan have been cleaned up. So we're providing higher res images for these products to give you a nice, clean, crisp edge. And I just want to show you a couple new updates when it comes to the orientation of the windows and the doors within your floor plan as well. So if I click on this window here, you're going to notice that there's little tags that are showing to the inside of the room here. Now that's just to indicate to you that the window is facing inward. So you're going to see a little window cell for each of your windows. So if I come in here, you can see you've got your window cell. If you have any floor plans where the window, I'm just going to pull this so that the tag is facing outside of the room. If I go back into the 3D mode, you're going to notice that the window is now facing out. So if this is showing in any of your floor plans or in any of your 3D renderings, just pop into your floor plan mode, make sure those little tags are facing inward, and then that'll ensure that your, all your windows are facing into the correct position. Now, when it comes to your doors, I just want to show you how you're going to handle the orientation of the door. So if I click on this one here and I bring this in, right now it's swinging in to the room. Now, if I want to change the swing from left to right, I can use these arrows up here to adjust the door swing. And if I want to change it so that the door swings out of the room instead of into the room, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and hold on the door icon and I'm just going to move my mouse in and out of the actual um, room template here or the floor plan. When I do that, you'll see that the door starts to go to the outside or to the inside. So you can decide which way you want the door to swing and then you can change the left and right swing of the door by using these arrows. Okay, let's see here. What else can I show you? Uh, let's jump into the 3D mode and we're gonna cover a few of the updates that we have in here. So one of the great new updates that the team has been working on, it's definitely one that was highly requested from the members. Uh, so within your floor plan, if you want to adjust something in the 3D mode, uh, and actually you can adjust it this way in your 2D or your floor plan mode as well. But what we've done here is we've built in the ability for you to adjust the placement of items in your plan by using the left and right and the up down arrows in your keyboard. So this will allow you to move something one inch at a time so that you can get it placed exactly where you want it to be within your design. Now you can do that with the windows and with the doors, and you can also do it with any of the items that you've placed within your floor plan. So you can move things from left to right and forward and back just by using the keyboard or your left and right arrows on your keyboard. You can also now duplicate items from the 3D mode as well which is a huge help because before you had to jump back into your floor plan mode, you would duplicate it here, place it, jump back into your 3D mode, and then you can start rearranging your design. Now you can just simply click on any of the items within your 3D rendering, uh, click the duplicate option here, place it wherever you want within your design, and then you can use the rotation arrows or you can just move it wherever you want within your design. And of course you can delete it from this mode as well. 
So there you have it. Those are the new updates that we've added into the 3D rendering software. Now those left and right arrow uh, functionality, um, what we're going to do is we're going to extend that to the walls as well. So it'll give you the flexibility to click on any of the floor, uh, the walls within your floor plan and move it out one inch at a time or move it in one inch at a time so you can adjust the, uh, the overall length. So that's coming soon. And other than that, we've got a new collection of 3D models that we'll be building into the software as well so that you have more selections to choose from. So there you have it. Those are the new updates. I hope you enjoy these new updates. They have been great additions to the floor plan. Thank you so much for your feedback. So definitely get in there, test these new updates out. Let us know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching.